Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic today is World AIDS Day Outreach. And we have with us this morning to talk about World AIDS Day Outreach, Ms. Catherine White Morley. Uh, Ms. White Morley is the president and the founder and uh, CEO of uh, an organization called WOMEN, uh, which is located in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, with Ms. Catherine White Morley is Mr. Buddy Stewart. Uh, Mr. Stewart is the education outreach uh, individual for this organization called Women, uh, W-O-M-E-N. And of course, uh, Ms. White Morley, we got through all of that uh, <laughs> in some, some way or the other. But let us welcome both uh, you and uh, Mr. Stewart to the show this morning Thank you. Thank you. to talk Thank about you. Uh, this special day mm -hmm. in terms of what uh, we've tried to do against this disease, AIDS. And this is World AIDS Day. And of course, uh, we're going to talk about uh, some of the uh, efforts uh, to uh, reach other people about that. Before, but before we get into that, let's have you and uh, later uh, Mr. Stewart mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to give us some information about uh, some of the things that are important in your life that uh, got you involved in what we're dealing with now and perhaps uh, to talk about the organization that you had, W-O-M-E-N. Yes, yes. Uh, W-O-M-E-N is the acronym for Women on Main maintaining education and nutrition and we are a grassroots nonprofit AIDS service organization and I became involved with HIV AIDS in 1994 when I was diagnosed mm -hmm. with the disease itself mm -hmm. in 1994 April of 94 mm -hmm. and completely devastated by that diagnosis completely taken aback by a diagnosis of HIV took me completely mm -hmm. by surprise mm -hmm. changed my life uh, the lives of my children mm -hmm. and uh, did 180 degree turnabout in in everything that I knew about HIV because mm -hmm. before then I knew nothing about the disease mm -hmm. so it definitely has changed my life mm -hmm. and that is was the beginning of mm -hmm. my brush with Your HIV. Your involvement in, yes. in what we're dealing yes. with now. Yes. Uh, you never thought, in, thought that you would be involved in something not like this? Not at all. Uh, not at all. Mm -hmm. Not at all. My life's direction was completely different. Mm -hmm. I had spent the first 25 years of my life in dance and theater mm -hmm. and had expected to spend mm -hmm. the rest of my life in doing dance and theater and then I had also a, um, a mm -hmm. automobile manufacturing background mm -hmm. and those were the things that I was involved with nothing to do with HIV and AIDS mm -hmm. until again as I was diagnosed mm -hmm. and of course we'll get into uh, more of that uh, later on but let's have uh, Mr. Uh, Buddy Stewart to uh, give us some information about uh, your background and your education and how you became involved with uh, this uh, disease AIDS or HIV how I became involved with uh, HIV and AIDS and uh, with women uh, t uh, 10 years ago I, I, I used to live in Orlando, Florida, and I was a trial clerk. Uh, and I remember one day when I was in court, they brought in all these uh, uh, people for uh, for ca for their case, mm -hmm. uh, and every last one was HIV. And I'm mm -hmm. like, well, what is this all about? Mm -hmm. And that stayed with me, and I started reading up on it. But eventually, uh, s several months later, I ended up moving to Nashville. Mm -hmm. uh, I got my first start working with the health department uh, as an HIV counselor. Um, also, I was an outreach worker. Now, you have heard that commercial, uh, we have come a long way, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, 10 years ago, when I was doing outreach, it was very hard. Mm -hmm. Time has changed, you know, 10 years later. I, I'm much comfortable now as far as doing outreach mm -hmm. than as, it was, as I was doing at the very beginning because uh, at the very beginning, no one didn't want to hear anything about HIV and AIDS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I go into the community, uh, I was shot at, mm -hmm. I got ran out of the neighborhood, but I kept going back. So I was determined, mm -hmm. uh, I was on a mission, mm -hmm. and that mission was to go into the community mm -hmm. and to teach mm -hmm. uh, our, uh, our uh, community about HIV and AIDS. Mm -hmm. So my background, uh, you know, I have a associate degree and a bachelor's degree that I received from East Tennessee State University in John City, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. But I received my master's degree working in the streets here in Nashville, mm -hmm. Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. like I said, I've been doing this for 10 years now. And um, um, when I joined women, I already knew what I was stepping into. Mm -hmm. So my job with women, you know, is to go out on the streets every day 
and we have six kits that we make up, you know. We have condoms, we have education about women, uh, you know, and other things that, and other material that, mm -hmm. uh, that we can give to the, uh, in our community. Um, you know, I know 